play just a couple days into spring training, but how are things going for you so far? It's been great. Um, it's always fun to to get back down here and just you know feel the energy of being back with the team and all the guys and um, seeing where everybody's at and um, just kind of seeing what happened in the off season and um, you know kind of figuring out um, the best way to move forward and. Um, kind of ramping things up. Let's talk off season. I know you spent a lot of years in Nashville. How was the off season for you? What did you get into? It was good. Yeah, um, yeah I spent them in Nashville uh, mostly, and um, yeah, you know, a lot of um, you know relaxing. I enjoyed my my routine there. Um, so it was good. Had some uh, some good work. Um, you know, some good good training there. Great places to throw. Um, and yeah, I feel like I've. Um, you know, had a, a good off season in the year, you know, well, and able to kind of build on that. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting the season started. What was it that enabled you to get on track and the season well? And what did you take away from that that you carried into the off season to try to build on? Yeah, just you know, anytime you can you can end the year, um, you know, physically in a good spot, um, but also with your delivery. Um, you know, there's just you kind of go in the off season with, with some confidence. Um, you know, you can you know start to really build on kind of where you're at. And I think for me, it's like, found some things that were really working. Um, and so it's like, hey, let's just, uh, let's make sure I, you know, stay on top of these um, things that are not working. And um, you start to build on them. Um, and obviously you start to build some strength, um, you know, in the arm speed and everything. And you just feel like you're, you're not behind uh, your own schedule. And I think it just kind of, kind of frees you up to come in and just kind of be yourself. What was the biggest difference with the delivery? Yeah, I mean, obviously with the sinker, um, uh, for me, is just simplifying the delivery, um, just so I kind of get to the same release spot. Um, yeah, I mean, so it's just making things as simple as possible, um, whether it's kind of where I'm aiming, um, the movement I'm getting, um, and obviously with the, the delivery, I think. Um, and I was able to kind of go back to like a preset um, on my backside, and um, that's kind of preset, and I kind of lift my leg, and as long as my stride direction is good, um, you yeah, know, things were starting to fall in place. You had mentioned earlier you like coming in here, seeing where guys are at. Anyone kind of stand out to you? I know it's so early in camp, but just the way they came in and, and their approach so far? Yeah, I mean, it's early. Um, I feel like, you know, a lot of the bullpen guys, you see them and it's like, man, you know, everybody's just got great stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I feel like um, I've got to watch a lot of the bullpen, you know, guys throw. And um, I don't know, it's just – you're kind of always amazed, like, man, everybody here has got something they do really, really well. So um, it's fun to see and kind of what makes you know people different. And um, I don't know, I'm kind of excited just to see where everybody's at, and I think it's going to be a, a really good spring. Oftentimes it's not about results for guys that have been around in a while. Results are nice, right? Don't get me wrong, but you're, you're sometimes working on something, making sure you stay healthy. What's your goal of the spring training? I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, I feel like I ended the year on a really good spot. Um, and obviously, you know, my whole kind of pitch package is based off my sinker. Um, but my slide, I mean, both my sliders had really good results last year, and I feel like those are in a really good spot too. Um, so it's just really, um, you know, seeing how much room there is to throw those two. Um, you know, obviously, the sinker and the sinker command comes first, um, but uh, maybe there's some more room to throw a few more sliders and um, kind of see where those take me to, to righties and lefties. Have you changed anything about the slider, the grip, or the way you throw it at all? No, I mean, they're basically the same. Um, you know, the sweepers felt really good. Um, obviously, the, the horizontal you know, movement with this, the, the sweeper kind of pairs well with my sinker, but um, the gyro slider obviously plays well you know, to lefties because of the depth. Um, and for me, it's just seeing how hard I can keep that and obviously get as much depth as I can on it. And, you know, I like where it's at right now, and it's just a matter of you know, seeing hitters in the box, um, you know, finding where you start it and seeing swings on it and um, just getting comfortable um, with hitters in the box. There were some additions when it comes to the pitching staff, both in the bullpen and in the rotation. How dialed in are you in the off season, wondering what are they going to do, who are they going to get, who's going to be here next year? Yeah, I mean, there's always uh, – there's always some, you know, kind of excitement. It's like, you know, you know, what's going to happen. Um, obviously, when you have guys in the bullpen or free agents that you have, you know, good relationships with, you kind of wonder, um, you know, what's going to happen there. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as kind of how they've kind of revamped things and um, brought some people in, um, I think we've got some really good additions. Um, you know, two new lefties down there with um, Gonzalez and uh, Ferguson and. Um, yeah, it's some of the same guys coming back. Um, so I'm excited. I mean, it's 
like I said, there's a lot of really good um, people with some really good stuff, and I think we kind of pair well off each other, and it's uh, we definitely have fun together. Um, so it's a fun group, and um, you know, I'm excited to kind of get going with them. All right, the day's over for you when it comes to baseball, but what does Clay Holmes do the rest of the day during spring training when you have the whole rest of the day to kind of play with? Yeah, um, not a huge golfer, but I, you know I'll bring him down here and kind of dust him off occasionally. Um, you know, I like to to go kind of stay a little bit active. So I'll walk around, um, I like to go find some coffee shops. Um, yeah, and just kind of explore Tampa. It's a lot of sunshine, so um, I'll try to make it over the beach a few times. Um, yeah, just kind of be outdoors, I guess. After the winter, um, being down here, you try to take advantage of the sunshine. Well, it looks like it might rain the rest of today, so I'll let you go and hopefully get to enjoy some of the day, but we'll catch up with you later this spring. Thanks, Clay. Yeah, thank you.